I'm looking forward to welcoming President Trump when he comes to the United Kingdom. We're working on a, uh, what a suitable date would be for such a visit. He said he made it very clear at the beginning of our bilateral that he was very keen to come to London. He's keen to continue building on what, as you say, has over the years been a special relationship. But I believe there are many areas, including the trade area we've just talked about, where we can build on that relationship to our mutual benefit for the future. Like other world leaders here, I'm dismayed at the US decision to pull out of the Paris Agreement. And I've urged President Trump to rejoin the Paris Agreement. The UK's own commitment to the Paris Agreement and tackling global climate change is as strong as ever. Here in Hamburg, I have called on my G20 partners to ensure the global financial system is an entirely hostile environment for terrorists. We've agreed to take action in two specific areas. We need to ensure there are no safe spaces for terrorist financing by increasing capacity building and raising standards worldwide, especially in terrorist finance hotspots. And we will develop tools to better identify suspicious small fl flows of money being used to support terrorist activity. I've also called for the G20 to come together to better manage the risk posed by foreign fighters as they disperse from the battlefield in Syria and Iraq by improving international information sharing on the movement of individuals known to have travelled to Daesh territory. And we have agreed that we should work with other G20 member states to help counter violent extremism in their own countries, to halt the spread of extremist material and poisonous propaganda that is warping young minds.